Welcome to my video on confidence intervals. Here in this example, we want to estimate the average weight for the adult male population. Uh, the average weight of 100 randomly selected adult males is 180 pounds. If we assume a population standard deviation of 20 pounds computes a 95% confidence interval for the population average weight. Now, in a perfect world, we would measure the weight of every single adult male in the entire world, and we can get an exact measurement for the average weight of the entire adult male population. If we use our common sense, we know this is not possible. We can't measure the weight of every single adult male in the entire world. So this is why confidence intervals are so useful, because we can take a small sample of 100 randomly selected adult males, or any size sample, and we can get a very good estimation for the average weight of the entire adult male population. So let's take a look at this example. Here it says the average weight of 100 randomly selected adult males is 180 pounds. It is not okay to assume that because the sample average is 180 pounds, that the average for the entire adult population is also 180 pounds. This is not okay. And I wrote this down for you, and I'm going to repeat myself just because this is a really important concept. It's not okay to assume that the population average, or the population mean, is equal to the sample mean. Or in other words, it's not okay to assume that because our sample average is 180 pounds, that the average of the population is also 180 pounds. Um, this is because if we took the average weight of another 100 randomly selected adults, it could have been 175 pounds or it could be 185 pounds. So it is not okay to assume that the sample average is equal to the population average. So here is where confidence intervals fix this problem for us. It is okay to assume that the population mean or the population average is equal to the sample mean plus or minus a sampling error. All right, so here's the formula for a confidence interval. Uh, the population mean is equal to the sample mean plus or minus a sample error. All right, so now let me write this formula down for you using our math symbols. Uh, the population mean is usually written with the Greek letter mu. So the population mean is the Greek letter mu. And this is equal to the sample mean, uh, which is usually written with the letter x bar, just x with the bar on top. And this is equal to the sample mean plus or minus the sampling error. And the sample error is written with the z value multiplied by the standard deviation all divided by the square root of the number in the sample size. Now let me explain to you what all of these letters mean. Um, this z is just the z value that we're going to use and it's dependent upon the percent of the confidence interval that we're using. For a 95% confidence interval, our z value is going to be 1.96. Okay? So for a 95% confidence interval, the z value is going to be 1.96. And for for a 90% confidence interval, it would be different. Um, if you ever have trouble memorizing um, your z values for the confidence intervals, you can always use your z table. And if you know how to use your z table, it's very easy. Uh, to find your z value for for each uh, percent confidence interval. All right, and uh, the standard deviation for this particular problem is given to us. We know that it's 20 pounds, and our sample size n is going to be 100 because we we took the average weight of 100 randomly selected adult males. So uh, let's get started with this example. So this example is asking us to compute a 95 percent confidence interval for the population average weight, okay? So we're trying to find this population mean or this population average using a 95% confidence interval. So we know that the average of the population is equal to the sample average, x bar, and this is given to us. It says the average weight of 100 randomly selected adults, or adult males, sorry, is 180 pounds. So our sample average is 180. So x bar is equal to 180 plus or minus 
our sample error. And this is z multiplied by the standard deviation all over the square root of n. So our z value, once again, for a 95% confidence interval is equal to 1.96. And once again, you can always use your z tables to find out this value. And this is being multiplied by our population standard deviation. Our population standard deviation is equal to 20 pounds. So this is going to be multiplied by 20 pounds. And this is all divided by the square root of n. n is the number in our sample size. And we have 100 randomly selected adult males in our sample size. So our n value is equal to 100. So now let's simplify this a little further. I'm going to scroll down just to give myself a little bit more space. So we have the population average, or the population mean, the Greek letter mu, is equal to 180 plus or minus 1.96 times 20 over the square root of 100. Um, if we simplify this, this is equal to 3.92. I just plugged this into my calculator. So now if we plug these values into our confidence interval, we know that the average of the population is going to be equal to the lowest value of our confidence interval is going to be 180 minus 3.92. And the largest value in our confidence interval is going to be 180 plus 3.92. So once again, I'm just going to scroll down just to give myself a little bit more space. Um, we know that the population average um, is equal to our lowest value, which is going to be 180 minus 3.92, which is 176.08. And our highest value is going to be 180 plus 3.92, which is equal to 183.92. So what exactly does this mean? What this is saying is that we're 95% confident 95% confident that the average of the entire population is between 176.08 and 183.92, which is which I think is pretty fascinating that we can get such an accurate estimation of the average of the entire population using a sample size of only 100. So this is the basic idea of confidence intervals. Uh, we take a smaller sample and we can make a very good estimation about the entire population. Um, so this is the answer to our confidence interval. It's 176.08 to 183.92. So one more thing before I uh, finish this video. Um, for this particular formula, we used the letter Z. Um, sometimes we're going to use the letter T. I'm going to do another example when we need to use this letter T, and this is dependent upon if the population standard deviation is known, or and it's also dependent on the sample size. So I'll, I'll explain more about that in detail in my next video. Speaking of that video, I have the link for it here in the box in the top left corner, confidence intervals using a T value. I also put the links for my other statistics videos on hypothesis testing and binomial distribution. Also, if you want some extra practice, I have some fun interactive video quizzes here on YouTube, so check that out if you want. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.